Hello, this is Bill Bogan presenting this week's Tech Tip by Kativ. This one is entitled Enhance Your Presentations. While presentations work well for creating exploded views for your drawings, did you know you can use them to make nice looking short animations? If not, then sit back and enjoy the next few minutes and see how you can enhance your presentations. The model I'm using has already been put into a presentation document. I'll add some tweaks and then show you how to modify these to make your animations. First, I'll tweak the component to pull it out of the assembly. In the ribbon on the Presentation tab, click Tweak Components. Select a model face that will provide the basis for the tweak direction. Select the component, specify the distance, and if you want, you can change the vector. Click the green check to apply the tweak. Next, I'll make a rotational tweak for the machine screw. Click Clear to unselect everything. And for the component, I'll select the cylinder body of the component so that I can use its axis for the tweak. In the dialog box, I'll select the rotational tweak and provide the degrees of rotation. To make the component rotate as if unscrewing the component, I need to use a negative value. I'll then click the green check to accept it or apply it. Now. I'll use the Animate tool to play back the tweaks to see how they look. Notice the tweak actions are separate. That's not really what I want, but this is easy to correct. I'll check the browser to make sure I'm working in the Sequence browser and expand the tasks. Next, I'll right-click the sequence and click Edit. I'll change the interval value. Using the Sequence Browser, you can specify unique intervals for any sequence. I'll play the animation and see that the sequences now work faster, but they're still separate. Well, next I'll click the More button to expose the list of sequences. And in the lower part of the dialog box, I'll select both and click Group to make the actions concurrent. Now let's play it back again and see the actions. Hey, they run at the same time. That's more like it. When I check the sequences in the browser, I find that both tweaks are in the same sequence, and the sequence interval value is the first one that was adopted. While you're editing sequences, you can set camera position for each sequence. This provides a means of focusing the viewer's attention and ups the value of your presentation video. As I conclude this tip, I want to leave you with another small tip. Use the real-time rendering settings to visually enhance the quality of the output. That's on the View tab under the Appearance panel. This is Bill Bogan saying thank you for watching Kativ Tech Tips.